Today, we're talking with Ali Reza, who is one of the world's top finance experts and also is preparing an STO project, security token offering. And with us also, Doug Messer, the host of um, Minted with Messer. So great to have you both with us. And um, I guess let's start with Ali. Um, tell me about your project, the STO project, kind of give me the lowdown and then a little bit about your background too. And then we'll talk to you. Absolutely. Hello, good day to you. And it's an absolute pleasure and honor to be here. And uh, basically uh, my background is uh, we used to issue lots of bond uh, for our clients, secured bond by their assets in Switzerland, in Zurich with my partners, we, we were doing that and for a long time and it was fantastic. And we did that till year 2008 uh, where the collapse happened and the made off and all that. So we had to sit back and basically rethink our organization, what we need to do. So then we got involved with the insurance-backed securities. So we came in and we started backing up a variety of securities with um, uh, basically insurance product. And now more and more, it's getting more difficult uh, because of the regulation and everything. And what we decided to do is maybe change gear. You know, trend is your friend. So we decided uh, to get involved more with cryptocurrency. And currently we have a project that is in Lancaster, Nevada, is uh, called Castle Mine Gold. And uh, we have all the documentation, all the paperwork is ready to go. And I mean, it's all done. And we're going to break ground, hopefully by May 15th latest. And uh, it, the va evaluation based on 43101, that's like a Bible of uh, evaluation for mining, is about 300 billion. And so it's pretty phenomenal. And we decided, and we have issued even a security against that. And it's at serious banks, such as Societe General in Zurich, it's sitting at Liechtenstein Landis Bank. But we realized, why don't we offer this to people? Make it uh, the checks and balances, have every token issue a security token against it, and back it up with the gold. And actually, deposit those goals at people's, uh, at the account, at the major banks on behalf of the token holders. So that's what we did. So that brings us uh, to Doug then. So, cause Doug, that's so, right. so the STO, the security token offering, explain what that is and why this project is good for that. Absolutely. Well, you know, to take one step back, I think in general with cryptocurrencies, uh, there's a natural hesitance for an investment that has no true uh, asset value from a backing perspective. So I think for a general public who is used to the traditional security model, uh, the the way in which Ali has set up uh, the STO is basically the same as one would set up for an IPO, um, nearly identical. Uh, one is simply listed on the NASDAQ or uh, the blockchain and multiple exchanges. So the similarities are quite there. And, you know, with the, as Ali mentioned, the backing of a reserve as large as that, uh, it gives us the ability to really open up a formerly used uh, method of, of finance within the United States. Uh, which was eventually removed as the gold standard. And hopefully uh, during a really bad time in, in our history, unfortunately, introduced that same actually asset backed uh, currency in a new form uh, and available for all. Yeah. You know, what's interesting to me about this is people have kind of pitted Bitcoin and gold against each other but you're actually having them work together a little bit, Ollie, right? I mean, it's a little bit. That's different. right. That's yeah. right. Well, well, because I think uh, the exciting thing about it is uh, basically uh, people, uh, I mean, all the, I mean, there's amazing products out there based on cryptocurrency. People, they're just coming with genius ideas, which is fantastic for everyone. But we thought it should be something tangible. So if somebody genuinely wants to sell it, even 
to be honest with you, if in the big blocks we're thinking to surrender the gold to clients that they buy it. So if they want to basically uh, do exchange, like if uh, somebody's purchasing a million dollar and up, they can actually come in and take their gold if they wish, or it still remains. So it's a literally genuine assets sitting behind every single cryptocurrency they're purchasing. And that's why we want it to be regulated. That's why we want it to have our checks and balance is in place and i i i love the idea of not reinventing the wheel just bringing it back to life um the opportunity for uh again you know millions of jobs lost uh millions unfortunately passing from the pandemic and a reignition of what could be a emerging new uh, economy it, it makes sense uh, at a time of now to, to reintroduce uh, the same model that we started with. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. So. USA is a great country. And uh, to be honest with you, there's amazing natural resources. And uh, so we have, we have another copper mine that we're looking at uh, to basically get involved with that and uh, issuing tokens against that, securitize it. So there is variety of things. And uh, so it's very, and I think there's a huge market for that. People being able to buy something that they know is 100% backed by the real assets that they can touch and they can liquidate if they wish. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll have you back for an update at some point. Sure, sure, sure absolutely. Us, so that's great. Thank absolutely you. Absolutely delighted. Thanks, Doc. I think we're we're doing this regularly, or you're having a regular segment or something, uh, right? So I'll see you every okay. uh, every morning on yeah. and every evening on Monday nights. We'll fi- we'll figure it <laughs> out. So yes, um, okay. great. So look forward to speaking to you all again soon. Thank you so much. All the best. Okay. Have a great-